hello guys it's me again so earlier while we're playing uh, pool league in Kona so one of our friends say something about the Vikings bar because the Vikings is now closed and it's because of the Korean manager who make a um, violations or harass uh, other people here in Angeles City a Korean manager of the Viking bar thinks that he owns Angeles City and he was harassing a staff of a therapy shop close to Walking Street he always making fun of the staff of the therapy shop and he thinks that they are also serving a extra service which is not because the Viking bar is serving a extra service inside that's what they said based on the video of the Rafi Tulfo in actions that's why I watch all of the all of the video from from the beginning until the end I think I know that bouncers because I remember them when we serve a free taste from puppies and the Vikings bars got raid multiple times before that's why they wonder how did they open it again and they already complained to the police but no actions right away they complain about the Korean manager harassing them they take actions because they already re report it in Rapitulfo in actions because Rapitulfo in action is one of the number one senator here in the Philippines so they complain it there the therapy shop and Rafi Tulfo take actions immediately which is really good the Korean manager is very arrogant because he has bouncers with him he also wants to hurt a lady boy who work in that therapy shop because he hate lady boys he even punched one of the lady boys in the streets so that lady boys also complain to the therapy shop that's why they have a chance to complain that Korean manager so when the Korean manager trying to hurt the therapy shop owner and the staff his bodyguard instead of uh, stopping his boss or winning his boss he win the lady oh so he st they stopped the lady instead of their boss and he's also a uh, trespassing because he went inside of the shop to get the license the permit and the ids of the therapy shop if they are legit or not but he has no right to do that that's why if you're a foreigner don't you ever hurt Filipinos or Filipinas who didn't do anything bad to you because this is our country so don't think that you guys own this place be respectful because you're just a tourist here and yeah just, just do it right don't be an asshole or talk shit about everybody because you're not in the right place to do that so yesterday guys april 25 2024 it's confirmed that the vikings bar is already closed just yesterday they found out that they have they found many violations of the bar of the bar they check all the documents of the viking bar including the sanitary violations they also want to investigate the bouncers because the because of the allegations that they are carrying a gun while working um i don't think so but i don't know i don't know i don't know about that and also if there's they are serving a extra service if the girls is serving a extra service inside of that bar the owner of that therapy shop also wants to file a complain about the bouncers because of their actions so let's see let's see no um, because why they they tolerate their boss diba if their boss is not it's not in a 
natin na uh, what you call that babe their what? boss the the bouncers because they they tolerate their boss to do that so uh, they, they yeah. tolerate the boss it's the they're they're an authority figure or a whatever so they respect or they have to listen to the bouncers is that what you're saying who are you talking about <coughs> no because the the lady, the the lady who complained, they stop the lady instead of their boss, because their boss is trying to hurt the lady, which is yeah. he punched the lady in this one and right, this one. Right, so, yeah. In, so yeah, the bouncers. That's why the lady wants to file a complaint also to that bouncer. Yes, yeah, the the bouncers were protecting the management. Uh, they were on the side of the management, which was in the wrong. Yeah, which is the wrong. The manager was in the wrong, but the bouncers can't stand up to the manager because they risk the job, risk their job. So they kind of backed up the wrong person there. There is so their job now. They are now. jobless. Yeah, they're going to be in <laughs> trouble as well now. Yeah, exactly. That's why don't do that. If you're in the right place, ha, kung nasa tama ka, ipaglaban mo. So they found out also that that Korean manager is has a permanent uh, residence visa but it's not an excuse for him to do something stupid here in our country so the BI intelligence divisions are doing a build up case building uh, a case against uh, building a case against against him uh, the, to increase the deportation case for that Korean manager who's doing um, doing bad he's against the law it's against the law so he's breaking the law here in the Philippines the police officers of station 4 the mayor of Angeles City the Bureau of Immigration the BI what did I say earlier? Intelligence division try, uh, trying to. What is it called, babe? I forgot what I'm saying. Building a case. Yeah, building a case against that Korean manager to make him deport in his country, but yeah. not right away. Of course, he needs to. He needs to uh, pay for his action. He needs to spend some quality time in jail. Is what he needs to do. Yeah. Or disrespecting the he needs culture, to, uh, the Philippines culture. Learn. <laughs> yep. He needs to learn, Yep. He'll That's learn. That's right. Yeah. He'll learn quickly sitting in that jail for a while. <laughs> That's why don't be like that, babe, no, huh? No. Don't be like don't that. Don't be disrespectful. Don't be, yeah, don't be an asshole. Don't talk about people in that you, uh, yeah, just don't talk bad about yeah, people. Yeah, just don't talk bad about people. Managers. Bar owners, vloggers. Anybody. Yep. Just move on. Just grow up. Be matured. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not matured, but I didn't do anything to people. Anything bad. So that's it, guys. Thank you.